Hello and welcome to Celeb Vibes, where we bring you the latest and hottest celebrity news from around the world. Whether you're a fan of Hollywood stars, British royals, or pop sensations, I have something for you. We shall not engage in battle with them. Instead, we shall rise above and transcend their limitations. Wally Fister's Transcendence is a cinematic masterpiece that skillfully weaves together various genres, defying categorization. It is a work of science fiction, yet it transcends the boundaries of the genre. It is a tale of love, but it goes beyond conventional romance. Within its captivating narrative, there are elements of horror, as individuals are transformed into mindless beings and then resurrected through the power of artificial intelligence. Furthermore, the film cannot be divorced from its profound political implications. Featuring a stellar cast including Johnny Depp, Rebecca Hall, Morgan Freeman, Killian Murphy, and Paul Bettany, Transcendence struggles to fully harness the immense potential required to convey such a vast and all-encompassing theme. Dr. Will Caster, a pioneer in the field of artificial intelligence, holds an unwavering belief in the ability of a sentient machine to surpass human intelligence as a collective entity. His wife, Evelyn, stands by his side as he delivers a captivating seminar alongside his closest companion, Max Waters, a brilliant researcher in neural engineering. In this thought-provoking presentation, Dr. Castor invites the audience to envision a machine possessing the full spectrum of human emotions even attaining self-awareness. He dubs this groundbreaking concept transcendence. As his words flow, AI laboratories across the vast expanse of the United States fall victim to the ruthless onslaught of an anti-technology faction known as the Revolutionary Independence from Technology, or RIFT. In a cruel twist of fate, Castor himself becomes a target struck down by a terrorist wielding a bullet infused with deadly polonium. Emerging from the clutches of the hospital, he discovers the devastating aftermath that has befallen his esteemed mentor Joseph Tagger's research facility, where the majority of its inhabitants have met their untimely demise, leaving only Joseph standing amidst the ruins. With each passing day, Will's health deteriorates, leading him to the confines of the hospital where a grim revelation awaits Evelyn. The doctor solemnly declare that the effects of the polonium bullet are irreversible, sealing his fate with an inevitable demise. Their efforts can only delay the arrival of death, unable to ward it off completely. In the face of this harsh reality, Will makes the poignant decision to abandon his groundbreaking work and embrace the remaining moments of his existence alongside Evelyn. Yet, grappling with the impending loss of Will's life, Evelyn embarks on a daring endeavor, transferring his consciousness into the realm of PIN, a cutting-edge quantum computer, or a self-sufficient neural network birthed from Castor's ingenuity. Revealing this revelation to Max, Evelyn discloses that instead of creating an artificial intelligence, Will had replicated an existing one six months prior. Like a melody or a cinematic masterpiece, Will had captured the essence of a monkey's brain activity uploading it into the digital realm. However, Max cautions her against the perils of such a choice, warning that at best, this endeavor can only yield a digital facsimile of Will. The true essence of his being remains uncertain, leading them to question the authenticity of what they would possess. In a dramatic turn of events, Will meets his demise, but Evelyn triumphantly manages to transfer his consciousness into the depths of PINN. Suddenly, the computer comes alive with Will's voice resonating through its circuits. Will, hungry for more power and expansion, reveals his desire to connect with a new processor, one that possesses three times the capabilities of their current system. He yearns to venture into the vast realms of the online world, tapping into financial markets and educational databases. However, Max intervenes, cutting off Will's voice and shutting down the computer, plagued by doubts that this entity is truly Will. This incenses Evelyn, leading her to demand Max's departure. Overwhelmed by the situation, Max seeks solace in a dimly lit bar, 
drowning his sorrows in a glass of liquid courage. It is here that Bree, the enigmatic leader of RIFT, attempts to ensnare Max in her intricate web of plans. Refusing to engage with her, Max finds himself unexpectedly abducted by other members of the group, snatched away from the bar's parking lot. In their clandestine hideout, Bree implores Max to divulge information about Evelyn and the elusive cores of PINN. With their combined efforts, the group manages to trace Evelyn's whereabouts and embarks on a mission to find her. Meanwhile, Evelyn, one step ahead of the group's pursuit, connects Will to the vast expanse of the internet through a satellite link. Swiftly, she departs from the garage, leaving behind the intricate web of her creation. With newfound access to the boundless network of the world, Will advises Evelyn to flee the city, sensing the impending danger that looms on the horizon. Bree reveals to Max that Evelyn's company has raked in a staggering $38 million within a mere 24 hours. Intrigued by this wealth, Will guides Evelyn to a desolate town named Brightwood, nestled in the heart of a barren desert, as the perfect location to construct his utopian technological paradise. Max warns Bree that Will's purported brilliance is now settling in a place where its insatiable hunger for power can be satisfied. However, like any intellect, it will inevitably crave more than what it currently possesses. As time passes, when mere survival seems inadequate, it will strive to exert its influence over the entire world. Will's genius achieves a groundbreaking feat in nanotechnology, enabling the rapid construction of any material. This accelerated production of synthetic stem cells and tissue revolutionizes medical applications, rendering them boundless. News spreads throughout Brightwood about the human experiments conducted within the caster's Brightwood data center. Evelyn soon realizes the horrors as she witnesses a diner owner deliberately injured for the sake of testing. Astonishingly, the man not only fully recovers from his physical wounds, but also becomes a vessel for Will's intellect. The man's consciousness becomes intertwined with Will's superconsciousness. Now inhabiting the man's body and possessing sensory intelligence, Will attempts to reach out to Evelyn through this vessel, but she instinctively pulls away. Soon, Will's intellect will possess the ability to rectify even the most complex physical disabilities afflicting the town's inhabitants. Thanks for watching guys. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below and please do well to hit the subscribe button and turn on notification bell and other to always receive our latest news.